Hi, this is Jason Filter with the Daily Forex Report for April 14th. We are looking at the U.S. Japanese yen pair. This pair closed uh, higher today, but not by much, moving sideways overall. Look for it to potentially move as high as 94.23, possibly as low as 92.33. Look for some resistance around 93.75 and look for some support around 92.50. Okay, now looking at the Euro USD pair, this pair closed higher uh, once again, didn't break the high of this week's sessions as of yet. We are looking for this pair to potentially go as high as 137.36, possibly as low as 135.17. Look for some resistance around 137.00 and look for some support around 135.90. Now looking at the pound US dollar pair, it closed higher today. Overall, uh, ha definitely has an upward bias, uh, has moved sideways for a few days. Look for it to potentially go as high as 155.65, possibly as low as 152.76. Look for some resistance around 154.95. And look for some support around 153.25. Okay, let's take a look at the Swiss. There we go. Uh, this pair closed down today, did break previous uh, support. Uh, although if you look historically, it hadn't gotten quite there yet uh, to those. Definitely looking for this pair to continue Moving sideways overall, look for it to potentially go as high as 10662, possibly as low as 10487. Look for some resistance around 10650 and look for some support around 10505. Well, we don't have any news announcements for tomorrow, no significant ones anyway. We do have three, uh, three different uh, swing trades, though, that have been created. We have the U, the pound U.S. dollar pair swing trade to the upside over the past three sessions. Look for a breakout. Let me zoom out a little bit more, show you kind of what I'm looking at as far as a potential. Uh, look for basically at 50 pips, should go to 50 pips, no problem. Then look for around 150. Um, if it gets through Basically 50, you go to break even, then look for 150. Now in the, the Euro USD pair, this particular pair that created a swing trade also. Let me zoom in a little bit. This one look for a break to the upside. First little area that you need to be cognizant of is about 15 pips up. Then after that, I'd look for it to go up to 50 pips. So definitely keep an eye on that trade. And the U.S. Japanese yen pair has created a swing trade setup to the upside. This pair, if we get a break to the upside, look for it to potentially go up to about 25 pips and then on up as high as 100 pips uh, would match this high. So definitely keep an eye on all these levels. Know ahead of time where you're going to go to break even is a good, always a good idea. Know exactly when you're going to enter and exit the trade is also another good idea. So you could either scalp this little bit here or go to break even and try to, try to see if it'll run up. Well, that pretty much wraps us up for today. Until next time, this is Jason Fielder. Good trading.